outsider. Donald Trump has now surpassed Mitt Romney's total primary popular vote total from four years ago. And we are only in the month of April, with 9.9 .9 million votes already after last night. Maybe more. That's already 200,000 more than Romney earned in the entire 2012 primary season. So could Donald Trump secure more total votes in the Republican primary than any other GOP candidate before him in modern times? Looks like it could happen. The modern day record holder right now is George W. Bush, who collected 10.8 million primary votes back in 2000. There are definitely those working against Donald Trump, millions of GOPers who still like Cruz and Kasich. But there's no denying the pure number of votes that Trump has received on a trajectory now to be record breaking. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks, Ainsley. Donald Trump pulling off a sweeping win last night and picking up dozens of bound delegates. He's eyeing that magic number of 1,237 bound delegates to secure the nomination. But that number could actually be less because of the unbound delegates. So, what is his magic number? We're going to put it right up here right now, aren't we, Scott Rasmussen? We sure are, Steve. Okay, so what is an unbound delegate? An unbound delegate is somebody who got elected. People like yesterday in Pennsylvania, yep. Steve Ducey's name could have been on the ballot. You vote for Steve Ducey as your delegate, Steve can do what he wants. Okay. There's almost 250 of them right now in the Republican Party out of the 1,237 that you need. So, in other words, you need at least 100, uh, one, two, three, seven bound delegates. You need 1,237 delegates total to win. And that then the, you got these floaters where right. if you can get some of those. Right. So let's take a look at the odds of Donald Trump getting as many of those 245 as possible. He's not doing well among this group. There's 112 from these five areas. Um, I expect Donald Trump to get only five. Ted Cruz has That's already secured many. 69 out of these 112 delegates. Okay, so let's, uh, in our heads, let's add five. He could pick yep. up five there. With Rubio, he could pick up six. Yeah, there's... We're up to 11. We're up to 11. There's 171 Rubio delegates. Only 40 are likely to be unbound. These numbers shift. The rules could change, but... Donald Trump not going to do very well among this group either. Okay, let's look at Pennsylvania. This, this is, is what you were biggie. talking about. Yeah, look, these people were elected. They didn't want to get in the middle of this. They hate the process, and people are blaming some of the delegates. Sure. The, if, so there were 71 delegates in all. 17 went right. to the state winner, leaving 54 unbound. Right. Some of these people pledged to run for the winner, uh, to vote for the winner of their district. Some for the winner of the state. They can all change their mind up to the last minute. You know what happens here? If things are close, Donald Trump probably gets about 18 of those 54. Okay, so if they're not close, he gets them all. Okay, 18 there. 19 in West Virginia, which yesterday you described as a funky state. A funky state. Again, there's, they're selected. You vote for the delegates, not for the ticket. And the whole process here is crazy. The Cruz and Kasich campaigns are sending out people saying, you know, I think you should vote for this person or that person. Sometimes the delegates don't even know it. Okay. And finally, let's look at the, the others. Yeah, these are people like Jeb Bush uh, delegates. They're not going to vote for Donald Trump, so I give them a couple in this category. Okay. Brings you to a grand total, 50 unbound delegates that Donald Trump could get if he needs them. You know what? I was going to do the math. I know what the answer is because right. it's on the next screen. It's so instead of one, two, three, seven, he actually his magic number could be could be as low as 1,187. And again, Steve, very fluid process. If Donald Trump wins Indiana next week and wins California at the end, he's going to be way over the magic number. We're not going to worry about this. If he loses Indiana yeah. next week, we're going to talk about this a lot more. He's going to be pretty close to it. And then the pressure on those unbound delegates is going to be enormous. There wouldn't be enough money in the world to make me want to be <laughs> one of those unbound delegates if it's that close. All right. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much.